the heat and humidity have subsided. The colorful changes are about to set in. And as the cool autumn winds begin to stir, so too does the need to stir that creative side which lies within each and every one of us. But if you're not sure where that might be and need a little inspiration, thankfully you don't have to look too far because the Peninsula Fine Arts Center offers a wide array of classes for you to enjoy throughout the year. Well, Peninsula Fine Arts Center isn't just a gallery where we display art, but it's also a place where people can make art. We have classes throughout the year in painting, clay, you name it. I mean, this is for all different ages and skill levels. And actually, Jan's class is a great example of the type of classes we have, because not only is hers an introduction to watercolor, which is one of our more popular art forms, along with clay, but we also like to have classes where there's people of different skill levels working together. And when you've got somebody like Jan, who's not just a practicing artist, but award-winning, very well known and respected, she can gear her uh, teaching style to students that are just starting out, as well as those who have been practicing watercolor for a chance to um, really hone their skills with a master watercolorist. Watercolor is obviously a water-based media. It is letting the paint, putting the bright colors on, on uh, in my case with my classes, uh, gessoed paper, and letting this, the colors uh, combine and flow and spray with water. So it allows an expansion of the watercolor media. I think personal expression and creativity is so satisfying and with studies that I've seen done in the past, a high, high percentage of people have always wanted to be artists but maybe have never either taken the opportunity to do that or um, if they, they've had a career and been busy working, not had the time to do it. So I think probably in the back of a lot of people's minds, this is something that, that um, they wish they could do, and now they have the opportunity here. I'm from Portsmouth. I drive a long ways to get here every day. I mean, every Tuesday. <laughs> well, I've been coming for six years, and i come this far um, because of how much I learned from this class and from our teacher. It flows in its own directions. It has a mind of its own. It can lead me into um, visions that I didn't expect to do, even in the beginning. It's very challenging. I work hard when I'm in this class. Our teacher, Dan, is very good at stretching me beyond my normal limits. I do things here. I'm pushed and stretched to do things that I would never do at home or in another class. Oh, it's so very important because now particularly they're taking so much art out of the schools and things like that. I think it's more important to be able to express yourself and be able to do the things that you love to do and put that out there for people to see and I think it makes me a better mother and a wife, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I think. It's uh, a learning opportunity for everyone, so that um, though I've had a lot more painting experience, um, students come in and they will find unique discoveries in their own work, and then this is shared with everybody else, and so that this sort of builds around the classroom, and we all learn from each other. Yeah, with fall coming on and winter gonna be here soon, not only is, are these classes a great thing to do for you, but they make a great gift. It's also a way to support PFAC, but we have after-school clay camps, we have mommy and me classes where parents and children can create together. So there really is something for everyone, every skill level here at Peninsula Fine Arts Center, because art is what you make it. Well, that's about all the time we have for you this month. We hope you've enjoyed this edition of Newport News in Review, as we've helped to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Christopher Newport University. And we look forward to the next 50, as it continues to enrich our community and the lives of students from around the world. And as always, on behalf of everyone here at Newport News TV, whether you're watching us on TV or online, at nngov.com, Facebook, or YouTube, thanks for watching. And we'll see you here real soon for the October edition of Newport News in Review, right here on Newport News Television.
more information on Newport News and Review, contact Aaron Pritchett at apritchett at nngov.com.